This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. I talk a great deal about the insurrection, about the attack on our very democracy, on the attempted overthrow of the United States government by way of overturning a free and fair and settled American election. Never happened in the history of our country. And this was incited by the President of the United States of America. I talk a lot about the 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 not impromptu setup, but the planned setup of a hangman's gallow on the lawn of the United States Capitol with a noose hanging ominously. Trump flags all over the place. And there's a reason. I talk about these things so much because our democracy is failing. It is crumbling beneath our feet. The once sturdy bedrock of democracy was something that we never questioned. And now we have to question it. I'm gonna play a clip just to remind you of the several moments inside the Capitol. Remember with the hangman's gallow outside that there were a mob of hundreds chanting, hang Mike Pence, bring him out here. We want to murder the vice president of the United States for executing his constitutionally mandated duty, certifying the election results. This is from the impeachment trial of Donald Trump in the Senate. Watch this. It's just a reminder before we get to this headline that Trump expressed support for hanging Mike Pence during the Capitol riot. Watch this as a reminder. And the mob was looking for Vice President Pence because of his patriotism, because the Vice President had refused to do what the President demand and overturn the election results. During the assault on the Capitol, extremists reportedly coordinated online and discuss how they could hunt down the vice president. Journalists in the Capitol reported they heard rioters say they were looking for Pence in order to execute him. Trump's supporters had erected a gallows on the lawn in front of the Capitol building. Another group of rioters chanted, hang Mike Pence as they stood in the open door of the Capitol building. You can hear the security alarm from the door in the background, and you can hear the mob calling for the death of the Vice President of the United States. This wasn't an isolated area or incident where that was being told, where that was being said. It was going on everywhere. Here's another example of the crowd outside yelling, bring out Pence, bring him out. Bring him out. Bring him out. Bring him out. Bring out Pence. Bring him out. 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 After President Trump had primed his followers for months and inflamed the rally goers that morning, it is no wonder that the Vice President of the United States was the target of their wrath after Pence refused to overturn the election results. And remember, after having watched that, the thing that I've said countless times, that it wasn't an impromptu build. They didn't show up in Washington, D.C., on the mall between the Capitol building and the, and the Washington Monument, and then there was just lumber laying around with, with, with bolts and, and nuts and washers. Look, oh, we, let's, oh, look at all this lumber. Let's just throw together a hangman's gallow. This was planned. They brought these items with them to erect on the lawn of the Capitol as a symbol of intimidation as a symbol of lawlessness, as a symbol of insurrection. And now we're learning 
through testimony of the January 6th House Select Committee investigating those events, that Donald Trump expressed support for hanging Mike Pence. And think about, for just a moment, think about all that you know about Donald Trump. He is a coward. He is a weakling. He is a draft-dodging simp. He's a fake and a phony, a fake triot. And he is a selfish POS, only thinks about himself, disloyal as a rule. And when his vice president was under siege, literally under siege at the United States Capitol, Donald Trump expressed support for hanging Mike Pence during Capitol riot, January 6th panel told by witnesses. The select panel has heard that after hang Mike Pence chants broke out, the then president expressed support for the prospect of hanging his number two, three people told Politico. I'm going to read from this article. The January 6th Select Committee has heard testimony indicating that the then-president, Donald Trump, after rioters who swarmed the Capitol began chanting, Hang Mike Pence, expressed support for hanging his vice president, according to three people familiar with the matter. The White House Chief of Staff at the time, Mark Meadows, was in the dining room off the Oval Office with Trump at one point during last year's Capitol attack, the committee has been told. Meadows then left the dining room and informed other people nearby that Trump had signaled a positive view of the prospect of hanging the vice president, the panel heard. Meadows' account, as it was described to the committee, came after some members of the mob converging on the Capitol had broken into chants of hang Mike Pence. Those chants were a reaction to Pence's decision to accept electoral votes that indicated Joe Biden had won the presidency. Politico could not independently verify the veracity of the claims regarding Meadows' comments. Two of the people who spoke for this story said the committee has heard testimony on this topic from more than one person. All three people spoke on the condition of anonymity. Why would we believe anything different? Every story that comes out about Donald Trump that they deny, deny, deny ends up being true. Claims and calls about fake news are just bullshit. They are they themselves fake. It is stupidity at the highest levels to deny that which we've witnessed over the course of the last five years as being the seminal character of Donald Trump. Reached for comment, I always like to listen to what they have to say, Reached for comment, Trump spokesperson Taylor Butowich blasted the committee. Now, I'm going to read this statement from Butowich. It's uh, just a paragraph long. But I want you to remember and notice as I read the statement that what you're not going to hear is a denial. They don't just flatly say, ah, that's not true. That didn't happen. Donald Trump absolutely in no way supported the hanging of Mike Pence. You're not going to hear that. You're going to hear a bunch of obs... uh, 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 diversion, jingling of keys, hoping to distract from the actual question that's being asked. This partisan committee's vague leaks, anonymous testimony, and willingness to alter evidence proves it's just an extension of the Democrat smear campaign that has been exposed time and time again for being fabricated and dishonest, he said. Americans are tired of the Democrats' lies and the charades, but sadly, it's the only thing they have to offer. (laughs) Dumb shit, Taylor Butowich. He didn't say untrue, categorically false. He didn't say that. Oftentimes, what they don't say says a lot more than what they actually do. And Donald Trump wants to run for re-election. Donald Trump wants to be the president of the United States again. After having tried to uh, overthrow the government, to retain power, to be reinserted as president of the United States, whether that be through bloodshed, as with this insurrection, or with the possibility of murdering his own vice president. 
What do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I invite you to follow me on social media. I am at Dollamore just about everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Follow me on social media. And if I do something for you that you appreciate, if I bring you value on a day-to-day or week-to-week basis, please consider supporting what I'm doing here. You can click the join button below this video, become a channel member for a buck 99 a month, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast and become a patron over there to support the mission and the overall goal of this, of this uh, program, which is one, moving the conversation forward and two, moving us together forward progress. Anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. I'll see you next time. Until then, be genuine. Take care of one another.